Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's Miss Alfaro here, and today we're going to be finishing our artwork that we created inspired by the book, The Day the Crayons Quit. If you remember last time you were in art, we did use pencils and crayons to create our crayon, as well as drawing some details around them that um, we can color uh, with our crayon. So if you remember last time I did say to create a crayon person and then use different details for that crayon person to color. What I want you to focus on right now is the different types of colors I have here. What color did I choose? That's right, I chose green or in Spanish we say verde. So for my green crayon I decided to draw a dinosaur. But I want you to look very closely I added other colors like orange and yellow, red and brown, pink and purple, and blue to my artwork. So today I want you to think about different colors, not just the color you created, not just the crayon, but different colors you can add so that way you have varied color in your artwork. Okay? So this can be visually interesting. Okay? So the first thing that we're going to do today, boys and girls, is on our crayon, we are going to trace our crayon with Sharpie. Okay, so that's the Sharpie right here. Now whenever I use a Sharpie, I want to make sure that I'm only tracing with it. And I put the top on the bottom of the Sharpie. Okay, Watch myself auto first. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just tracing over my pencil lines on my Sharpie. So I did most of it earlier. Now remember, when we are drawing with Sharpie, again, we are not coloring it in. Because if we color in our Sharpie, we waste the ink inside of the Sharpie, okay? Come back over. I can also come over if I want. I don't have to. But I can come back over whatever I drew and trace over with Sharpie. Okay, so I'm going to do the diamond. I already did his face. I'm just going to do the shape of their body. So that way when I'm painting today, I can see it through all the paint that I'm going to use. Now remember, just like I said earlier, you wanted to make sure that you were drawing big so that way when you're using the other materials, they work on your artwork. I'm just going to do the flame right here. And a little foot right over here. Okay, so now when I'm done with my Sharpie, what do I need to make sure to do? That's right, I need to close it. Make sure I close it. And now I'm going to put this back into the pencil and Sharpie cup. Okay, so I put that to the side. The reason we don't uh, paint and then use Sharpie is because if we do that to the Sharpie, the Sharpie is not going to work on the wet surfaces because the Sharpie is considered a dry media. Okay. Next, we're going to start painting with tempera cakes. Okay, so this might be new to your class or we've done it maybe in the past on a different project, but we're just going to go over the rules for paint because if you look at my palette right here, uh-oh, somebody was not following the rules for painting and what different colors do we see on the yellow? That's right, we see some brown, some black, some oranges. Same thing on this orange over here, it's kind of dirty. So we want to make sure that we are taking care of our paints. Okay. So, before we go into painting, I want you to focus on the brushes. So brushes come in different sizes. They also have different names. The two brushes that we're going to focus on today are, is a large and a small brush. Now, the reason I want you to look at these is I want you to be a thinker. And we know that thinkers figure things out. So if I have a big area right here, just like my dinosaur, am I going to use this teeny tiny brush or am I going to use the bigger brush? That's right, I will use the bigger brush for that area. But let's say uh, over on the little leaf of my apple over here, am I gonna use this big brush or will I use the little brush? That's right, I would use the smaller brush on that area right here, okay? So we're gonna start by taking our brush and cleaning it in the water three times. Now I want you to see I am not going really crazy like this because I could splash the water. I'm also, before I reach it over, I'm asking, excuse me, can I get to the water? Excuse me, can you move to the side so I can clean my brush? 
I'm using those kind words at my table so that way other people know what I need instead of just reaching over and accidentally spilling this water. Okay? So remember, how many times do I clean my brush? That's right, we clean her three times. She's like a little ballerina. So let's count. One, two, three. Okay. Then, on your paint, you would have it in front of you or in the middle. But I'm just going to put mine right on top for just a moment. Then you would come over here. And in a circle, you'll even see the paint is already in a circle because people have used it. We are gently gliding our little ballerina in a couple circles to start getting some paint on our brush. Okay. Once I have that paint on my brush, I can now go over to my artwork and start painting. Okay. If I see that there's still paint on my brush but it's running out, it's drying up, I just dip it in the water one time. I don't clean it, I just dip it carefully, just get a little bit of water because now that water is going to help me spread out the paint with my paintbrush. I can even come back over some areas that I colored with my crayon. So for instance, on my lollipop, I can paint over it. Now you'll notice too that that crayon is going to resist. That means it's going to stop some of the paint from coming through. That's okay. We just want to see. We're being risk takers today, seeing what happens when we do that. You can even come back. So if you notice too, I'm just painting over so that way I'm filling up all those little white spots of crayons where I didn't color in. Okay. So now that I'm done with this brush, anytime I need to switch a, switch a brush out, I need to clean it three times. One, two, three. Okay. And this is the correct way you clean your brush. Okay. This is the wrong way. You don't crumple your brush like this because one, you might mess up the shape of it, but also you're wasting what? That's right, you're wasting paper towels. So this is the correct way that you clean a brush. Put it in the water three times. One, two, three. Carefully push off the paint on the side of the cup. And then on my paper towel, I might need to brush it out a couple times, repeat the process to get all that paint off there. Okay. When I'm not using a paintbrush, I can leave it inside of the cup. And now I'm going to be focusing on the dinosaur. I'm going to use the bigger brush for this one. Okay. So same thing. I need to clean it three times. One, two, three. And I'll come back to my paint. I repeat the process. I'm going in little circles. I can stop for a second. I see some green on there. Okay. Now I can come to my dinosaur, my bigger area, and I'm painting back and forth. I can hold it like this, like a pencil, or I can hold it on the green part. Okay, but just remember, you are in control of the brush. Coming back. Gently, I'm not pressing down. I need to spread out this paint. Remember, I dip it in the water one time. over to this uh, magenta or pinkish color, but uh-oh, what do I need to do? Am I going to just put my paintbrush in here? No, because that will contaminate the paint and make it dirty, so I need to clean it. One, two, three. I put my brush up to it. Oh, it looks a little too big for these areas, so I'm actually going to use my smaller brush for this. Okay, I'm going around. I can gently start painting over. Now you're going to see that the crayon is going to stop the paint from coming through. It will only show up on the pink areas. Okay? Now what I don't do too is take this dirty brush and go through all the different colors because just like Miss Alfano said, you will contaminate and pollute the color and then we won't have that color anymore. Okay? Then I can even use this if I want, come back, do some different details. So I'm painting over my butterfly over here in the side. I can clean my brush. One, two, three. Clean it on my paper towel. Get some more water. One, two, three. Now I can do my clouds. 
Okay, so I want you to continue painting till you feel like it's complete. Add some water if you need to spread out that paint. Now be careful because if we pick up our paper, all that water is gonna drip. So when it's time to clean up today, you're gonna need to clean your brush. Number three, clean up when time's up. Clean your brush, one, two, three. Take that paper towel, clean it, and then you're going to walk it by holding, let me zoom out so you can see. You're gonna hold it on both sides of your artwork to make sure that that paint does not drip down. And then we will walk this to the drying rack. Thank you so much, boys and girls. I cannot wait to see what you create on your artwork today.